angry, Harold. We're getting enlightened. Can you say Diderot? Can you? That's not how it's spelled, but that's how we say it. Today, Harold and I are going to be talking about Denis Diderot, the French philosopher, art critic, and writer. Bonjour mes amis! Diderot lived from 1713 to 1784 and was a large contributor to the Enlightenment, especially in France. The Enlightenment was a period of time, especially in Europe, where people were beginning to focus more on science and logic and basic human rights, uh, and beginning to disagree with the monarchs and the church who were in charge. Do not surrender to the monarchs. Diderot was a supporter of uh, John Locke's theories, John Locke helped us figure out basic human rights. He defined them as life, liberty, and property, which America has changed to be life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Don't hurt me. That's against my rights. Kinky boo boo. Oh, there we go. Now, some of you may be asking, uh, what uh, do you think about everything? Uh, so, do not panic, friends. I am here to tell you. I believe in uh, freedom of speech. Hey Dennis, can I say something? No, you may not say something. I am talking, I am in charge, I am in charge, you are not in charge. Uh, anyway, I believe in uh, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of religion. Uh, I believe that uh, everyone has a right to try to make themselves happy. Diderot was originally studying to be in the clergy, however, he gave that up to study law. Many people think that Diderot's reason for uh, not wanting anything to do with the church was his sister's death. His sister was a nun in a convent and she died because of overwork. This is the only thing I've had to eat in three days! I feel awfully faint! Oh! I was originally going to be part of the church, but then uh, the church killed my sister, so... We don't talk about that anymore. Diderot further upset his father and social norms by marrying a woman who was three years older than he was and also of lower social standing. Diderot also had affairs with the writer Madeleine de Prussy and Sophie Volland. This is important because his letters to Sophie tell us a lot about what life was like at that time for uh, people of his social class during the Enlightenment. Unfortunately, Diderot never uh, got a job that paid him enough to make a substantial living, and when it was time to give a dowry for his daughter, he saw no other alternative than to sell his library. Diderot eventually died of a pulmonary embolism, which is the blockage of the main artery in the lungs. My friends, whenever you find yourself in a time of trouble, remember, you may do whatever it takes to make yourself happy. So long as it is not killing someone, because that is against the law and against their right to life. And whatever you do, do not surrender to the monarchs.